So, welcome to the lecture on application of MATLAB in automatic control. In this lecture, we will discuss about design via root locus and compensation techniques. So, in this lecture, we will discuss about a problem related to PD controller design. We have already discussed the theory behind the PD control that is ideal derivative controller and we know that this is a compensation techniques that helps us to design the root locus to pass through the desired dominant poles. And when we do the uh, this PD control we add a zero in the existing system so that the root locus passes through the desired dominant poles. So, we will take a problem. So, here we will have this uh, problem. So, we are given this system that is design an ideal derivative compensator to yield a 16 percent overshoot with a three fold reduction in settling time. So, this is our plant that is k is the gain and 1 by s s plus 4 s plus 6 is g s and here h s is unity that is 1. So, if we have this plant So, this is the system, we have unity feedback here, this is R s. So, we have to design ideal derivative compensator to yield 16 percent over suit here and with a three fold reduction in settling time. So, three fold reaction means the T s should be equal to T s by 3. So, the this system has some settling time and we have to design it so that the settling time is reduced by three fold. So, now we first calculate the damping corresponding to this overshoot and we know that damping equal to minus l n percent overshoot by 100 root pi square plus l n square percent overshoot by 100. So, this is the formula and when we put this percent overshoot equal to 16. So, we will get this 0 0.504 this damping. So, now if we plot the root locus. So, this is the we want to plot the root locus for the system. So, here the root locus can be plotted. So, we can we have here g s h s the open loop transfer function g s h s equal to 1 by s s plus 4 s plus 6. So, here we have three poles starting poles at s equal to 0 s equal to minus 4 and s equal to minus 6 and there are all the zeros at infinite. So, root locus starts at these poles and ends to infinite. So, here s equal to 0, s equal to minus 4 and s equal to minus 6. So, here minus 4, minus 6 and this is 0. So, here the root locus and we have damping line that is 0 0.504. So, we can find the cos theta 
so because we know that damping equal to cos theta so we can find theta equal to 59.74 so this angle angle from uh, this axis negate uh, this real axis from in clockwise so here we can plot at 60 about 60 degree this line so this is the theta that we have calculated that is 59.74 and this angle is 120.26 because that is 180 minus theta and this line is damping zeta equal to 0 0.504 now the root locus will start here, here and it will break away between these points. So this is let us say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So suppose it breaks here and it passes through and it cuts this point at A and this point will go to infinite directly and these two will also lead to infinite because they will end to 0. So here uh, we have we can find this point where it cuts this line. So this line we point this point we find minus 1.205 plus J2 point 064 at gain k the value of k equal to 43.35 so here it cuts this point so we can compute the settling time so settling time here is ts that is 4 upon sigma d that is the real part so we can find 4 upon 1.205 and we can compute the settling time that is 3.30 so we find this settling time and we can find other peak time also steady state error and other error constant and third pole is found at minus 7.591 now the objective is the settling time here should be ts dash that is equal to one third so 3.32 by 3 so this is 1.1 .1 zero six or zero seven we can write it so this is the desired settling time and to get this settling time we need to calculate the to obtain this settling time of course we have we need to shift this pole so this real part will be now equal to 4 upon settling time ts dash so that is 4 upon 1.107 and we want this pole at 3.613 3.613 and because we have where the pole should be lie on the 16 percent over suit or zeta equal to 5.04 we know that this theta is same if the pole is suppose here at B so it has the same theta so we have this relation and we have found something uh, here this 3 so we have found here this point let's say because we found the sigma that is minus 3.613 here and this theta is same and we can find this omega D 
सो ओमेगा डी इक्वल टू सो टेन थीटा इक्वल टू ओमेगा डी बाई सिग्मा डी सो ओमेगा डी इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट सिग्मा डी इंटू टेन थीटा सो थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स वन थ्री टेन फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन फोर सो वी कैन फाइंड ओमेगा डी दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट वन नाइन थ्री सो द डिजायर्ड पॉइंट हियर बी दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स वन थ्री प्लस जे सिक्स पॉइंट वन नाइन थ्री सो दिस इज द डिजायर्ड पॉइंट बी बिकॉज नाउ वी वॉन्ट दैट द रूट लोकस पास इज थ्रू दिस पॉइंट सो नाउ वी वॉन्ट दैट this point b on the root locus so the angle condition must be satisfied so that this point desired this is a desired point and its angle with respect to these open loop poles and we will add a compensator zero according to the theory of pd controller so with that zero and these poles we consider this angle that should be odd multiple of 180 degree so first we compute how much angle these points is making with respect to these poles so if we compute these angles we find that it is making angle of minus 275 point 6 degree so now if we want that it makes an angle of 180 degree because this angle should be either 180 or 3 times 180 so it's better we add if we want 180 so if we add 180 we will get 95.6 degree so we should add uh compensator zero at because we know that these poles makes negative angles now so if we put some zero such that it at some positive angle that is equal to 95.6 degree then the this pole desired pole at b will make 180 degree angle with respect to the compensator zero and the system poles and therefore the condition of angle will be satisfied and that point we will be on the new root locus because new root, the root locus will be changed to pass through the point b so we want to compute this 95 point so if we have this sigma this is j omega and this is our desired point b so we know this is j 6.193 and this is here minus 3.613 now to make angle that is 95 so 95 angle it should be here because if it is beyond this the angle is less than 90 so it should be before this so if we have this here is z c and let's say minus uh, okay let's say minus sigma and this angle should be 95.6 degree so this is the angle 95.6 degree and this angle is pi minus 95.6 degree so let's say this angle is theta dash so theta dash equal to 180 minus 95. 6 degree so tan theta dash equal to mod uh, so mod omega d upon so here mod sigma d minus sorry uh, sigma d minus sigma So 
So, here we will have 6.193 upon here we will have so 3.61 minus this plus sigma. So, we will have uh, here let us do like 3.613 minus sigma. So, we just take the values because we want this difference. So, we take this 3.613 minus sigma. So, we just take the values. Now, we, we will get so, we will get this sigma that is 3.0 0, 06. So, we know that we will put this pole at here 3.0 minus 3.006. So, now the, the root locus will change and let us we plot this root locus. So, now we have the system like this was the original system we have added a 0. So, here the system will be compensated system and that will add a 0 at 3.006. So, here it will be into S plus 3.006. So, this is added uh, this compensated 0 and this is our new system. So, we will make the root locus of this system and so we have this line at damping equal to 0 0.3 uh, 0.504 and we have these poles for this system now the compensated system that is at 0, at minus 4, at minus 6 and there is a 0 at 3.006. So, about here. So, minus 3.006. Now, the root locus will we can draw the root locus. So, here the root locus will start and end to this point. Now, the root locus will start here, here and it will break away to reach to this point. Because now we have one pole at finite and one zero at finite and two zeros at infinite. So, these points will lead to infinite and they will intersect here this will be point B and this point B will be the point of desired pole location that is minus 3.613 plus J 6.193. And we can find the gain corresponding to this point by using this rule that K G S H S equal to 1 the modulus. So, we can find the gain for this pole if we put S equal to this we can find the gain for which gain this value is occurring. So, now this thing we have discussed here how to do in MATLAB this problem. So, we can see so, the because the code is long I will run uh, I have already written and I will run this code. So, so, here we can see the uncompensated system. We know that here the uncompensated system was a system without this compensated pole that is k by s s plus 4 s plus 6. So, we have numerator 1 because this gain we consider as separate element k gain. So, 1 by s s plus 4 s plus c is our uncompensated system. So, here 
we we are talking about gs gs is 1 by s s plus 4 s plus 6 so numerator is 1 and denominator here we say num num g and then g so here a polynomial having this coefficient uh, this uh, poles uh, or roots 0 minus 4 minus 6 so we get a polynomial in the denominator and we can find the transfer function that is num from this numerator and denominator now we can take pos is the percent over shoot so we want it as input because here it is 16 percent so we take it as, as input there will be a command that type desired percent over shoot and we will enter the value of percent over shoot 16 <coughs> now we will calculate the damping with the formula that relates the percent over shoot with the damping so that is minus ln percent over shoot upon under root pi square plus ln percent over shoot so this is a square root so command so now we find the root locus of the this g so root locus of this g we can find then the the s grid command uh, gives this a line that is of the damping value z that is calculated here and natural frequency is zero so it will plot a line Mm, that for damping equal to 0 0.504 then we have a title uncompensated root locus with this percent overshoot so we will calculate the a point so we we are here going to we will see the root locus on the screen and we will select the intersection point between this root locus and the damping line once we select that line we will get here gain k is the gain and p is the poles so poles for this gain so there will be three poles because these are the three poles so two poles here one pole second pole and third pole as i said it will it is going to occur here for that gain so here we will find these th three poles and tu equal to feedback k into g1 so now we want the transfer function of the equivalent closed loop transfer function we want so that is k into g is the open loop transfer function because here hs is 1 so k into g and 1 is the unity feedback here we are saying feedback is unity hs is 1 so we get the uncompensated closed loop transfer function and once we give the step input we can see what is the response now here then we are going to get the p will give the poles because these poles already we have obtained here k into p k comma p so we have already got the poles of interest that is point a so where they intersect the root locus intersects the damping line so we get the poles now we want input give pole number that is operating point so our pole that is operating point is this a because this a is passing at this overshoot or damping line so we are uh, get the operating point at pf is if we because p is a vector that contains the three poles so one two three and we will give if we give two we will get the second pole or if we give one so our desired pole we can see at which number it is and we can give it f so we will enter f then gain k gain equal to k we will get the gain here k because we already selected that point and that will give the gain gain is stored here now we will calculate the estimated peak time so we calculate here 
because we are now doing this calculation settling time peak time etc so at for this point so we will use the peak time we can know by using pi upon absolute imaginary part because we know that tp is pi upon omega d and omega d is the imaginary part of the pole then estimated here est is estimated settling time that is 4 upon absolute real of the pole so 4 upon sigma d sigma d is the real part so here we are using this sigma d sigma is 1.205 that is the here real part 1.205 modulus so we get the estimated settling time then estimated percent overshoot equal to pos that is already we entered pos then damping is z natural frequency is under root of real part sigma d square plus omega d square that is omega n we get then here we are getting the steady state error uh, constant static error constants and steady state error and we already discussed how to get the static error uh, constant so the here the, it is type 1 system because s is uh, there is one pole at origin so we will calculate kv so we got here the kv and the steady state error is 1 by kv then we will take here the feedback k into g1 so here we have we will get the step response of the uncompensated system for this pole a so we can see what is the response of this system at this pole now we have uh, we now want to go for the pd compensation and for pd compensation we have here ts is the input so now we want to input the settling time and here settling time is ts by 3 so earlier settling time estimated settling time by 3 so we will put this value either we put 1.107 or we put estimated settling time that we calculated by 3 so here and we can get also omega n that is 4 by ts into z and desired pole is minus that is sigma d plus omega d i so minus damping is the same z into omega n we have calculated plus omega n under root 1 minus damping square this is the desired pole so we are getting this desired pole here what this is step sigma d we calculate 4 upon ts dash or 4 upon ts into that is zeta into omega n and omega d we are calculating so omega d is omega n root 1 minus zeta square so this is also this formula so we use so angle at desired pole now we want to know the angle so this angle that we calculated here that how much angle the pole at this point is making with respect to this system so we are getting this angle so we calculate this angle now here pd angle that the compensator angle is 180 minus angle at desired pole so we are doing 180 minus this that will be the angle that the compensator zero should add and so this sig this location zc sigma that calculated there the location of the zero so this part sigma we are calculating so we are calculating sigma using this formula and the code is written for this so here we have sigma equal to or zc equal to imaginary of desired pole by tan theta so this is tan theta pd angle into so here we convert this into pi because this tan is going to take equivalent angle in pi and minus real of desired pole so we use that formula 
and we find this the location of the zero now here we are defining the numerator that is the zero so s plus zc so one uh, that is this point so this is the zero that is here and here density is uh, compensator has uh, compensator has only zero no pole so here we have one so it is just unity and so we find the compensator transfer function as numerator with this and denominator as one so it is only the zero and we can get here g e the, the transfer function that is g into g c so uh, initial transfer function g, 1 by s s plus 4 s plus 6 into this s plus 3.006 and we plot this root locus and on this root locus again we select the point r loc find g e so from here we select the point k into p so we select now on the root locus point b and this point B is our desired point and we get the gain K and the poles all the poles for this gain so we give the pole number here pole number and we get the all the other parameters we can recalculate what is settling time what is damping what is and again we calculate here the steady state error and we find the closed loop transfer function t and we calculate the step response of this and we can cal compare this with the step response of the tu so here we will we can run this code so so we we are going to run this so we just control v and so we run this code and it is asking type type the desired percent overshoot so let's type this 16 we type the desired percent overshoot 16 so you see here we obtain this root locus and you can see here the root locus that we plotted here we are getting the same here and we have to select the point here we have the this cursor to select and we select the intersection point here also it is a bit approximate but we select here and we find the step response for this uncompensated system corresponding to this selection point a this is the step response of this system so now we see this is the pole so one pole is at minus 7.5 other is minus 1.2 and 1.96 so here we are getting 1.2 and 2.064 so there is little bit deviation due to the selection approximate selection so here our desired point uh, the point is operating point is this second pole because this is the first pole this is second pole this is third so we have this is the uh, second pole that is the desired point a so we put here two we enter so we get the transfer function and we now want the and you see here we already find the k the gain and this transfer function now we press any key to go to pd compensation so we in put some key type desired settling time so desired settling time here was est so est by 3 because we want one third uh, of that settling time now we have obtained this root locus so when we put the desired settling time we have obtained the root locus and we want the desired 
so this is our desired so that the root locus should pass through this point so we have now this first point you can see first point is minus 3.7 plus 6.39 so there is little deviation than what we calculated due to this selection of the point so of course we can also write the code so that we can uh, get the intersection points and exact points that we are getting here so here uh, this is for the design purpose initial design purpose and so here we are uh, uh, using the graphical uh, interface. So here we are selecting this point 1 because uh, you can see here it is minus 3.6 plus j 6.19 here it is coming minus 3.7 plus j 6.39 so little difference. Now we select point 1 here this is the desi uh, desired point so we, we are we already got designed this thing and everything calculated here you can see we are already getting the steady state error everything and this is the final transfer function and there is one zero that is entered here that is about s plus 3 because here if we take 50 outside so it is s plus 3 about so we have already now we press any key to see the step response so we enter and we can see the step response so this is the step response of the PD compensated system now we want to compare the response with respect to the uncompensated system so if we enter so we can see here so here the red one is the response of uncompensated system and you can see here this settling time it is settling here somewhere and we have decreased this settling time <coughs> here so and you can see also we are we have a better uh, this we have also decreased the peak time of this system because peak is also occurring earlier so <coughs> we have designed the PD control system so this is the compensated system and this is the uncompensated system so here uh, so we learned how to the, the we learned already the theory of PD controller so we saw in this example how to do the PD control uh, theoretically and then how to use the MATLAB code to uh, make this and these examples were taken from the book of uh, Norman S. Nice Control Systems Engineering. So I thank you for attending this lecture and see you in the next lecture.